everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel today. So I thought it'd be fun to do an updated what's in the bag. I think the last time I did this was a year ago. So I thought I would show you everything that's in my bag and also all of the accessories. So I get so many questions on pretty much everything in my bag, on my bag, um, my bag and uh, everything else. So I thought we would just work our way through my bag. <laughs> So let's start off with the clubs. So I am playing tailor-made wedges. I have a 48, a 58, and a 54. They are um, stamped with little hearts on them. Um, they are cute. It's also Nico, my dog. His name is also stamped on my wedges. And I pretty much had this configuration with the um, locks for a while. I like a 48 because um, I tend to use that one quite a bit around the greens when I want a club that is less lofted, but I still like the look of having a wedge compared to uh, a normal um, one of my irons, which is a bit bigger and clunkier. Um, so this is a good option for that. I never really use my 58. I tend to always use my 54. The 58 for me just tends to spin a little bit too much and I just can't control it as much as a, the 54. But if I'm playing on really fast greens and I have a short side pin, that's when I use my 58. Next, we are gonna work into the irons. I am a Mizuno gal through and through. I've had Mizuno irons for a very long time. Play them in junior golf. I've switched around here and there, but I've always come back to my Mizunos. So I am playing uh, Mizunos. They are the JPX 921s. Um, I have uh, graphite uh, KBS shafts. I tend to like graphite just a little bit better than steel. Uh, for me, steel is just, it's a little too heavy and I don't feel like I can control it through the entire round towards 16, 17, 18 when I get a little bit tired. Uh, I just don't feel like I can have the swing speed to get through with steel. And they are making really great graphite options now. And so even if you do have a pretty fast swing speed and some guys even on tour are switching over to graphite. And so it doesn't have that. I know a lot of people when you think graphite, you think of like very slow swing speeds and that's not really the case. Um, and sometimes people say that graphite is a little bit more inconsistent, but I feel like I get more distance and I hit my graphite shafts better than I hit steel when I was going through the fitting process at Club Champion. And then my grips are this Grip Master grip. They are the greatest things in the world. I have a bit clammy, <laughs> clammy, sweaty hands. And especially in the summer, I can't hold on to anything. I would play like I've tried every single grip out there and this is the only one that works for me. You can see how tacky it is. And it's super tacky. I've had these for a while. You don't have to regrip them a ton. Um, I know when I was playing um, full cord, I had to regrip them all the time. And I've had these now on for a little bit and they're still very tacky and they feel great. And they actually get tackier when they, like you'll be playing in the rain and they're still tacky. And you're like, how is this happening? And it doesn't leave any like stickiness on your hands. It's just on the clubs. I don't know how they do it. It is truly magic, but I am obsessed with them. And I tell everyone about them because they're truly so incredible and they have like saved my hands too. Um, but yeah, I love my irons. They're yeah, the uh, JPX hot metal 921s and obsessed, obsessed. So I go from a pitching wedge into, I'm trying to get a four iron. I have never played a four iron before. I've always gone to like a hybrid or a wood, but I'm testing out the four iron. So far, hate it. I despise it. Not a four iron girl, but I'm gonna continue to just keep testing it to see because I wasn't in love with my hybrid. It just felt a little off to me and I was trying something different. So I asked Club Champion if we could do a four iron and then also a seven wood. So I've been going back and forth just to see which one feels a little bit better to me. And let me tell you, I love, 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 love the seven wood that they got me. I am obsessed with the seven wood. It is awesome. So we'll move into woods next. So for my woods, 
I have a, I was playing a Titleist Hybrid, and I've had that one in my bag for a while, but I have now switched over to this Rogue Callaway 7 Wood, and we have the Mitsubishi <laughs> shaft in there, and again, also the Grip Master Grips. This is a newer club, so you can really see, really tell how tacky they are. Again, and there's nothing left on my hands, but this seven wood is incredible. I have now had this for a couple weeks and I think this is probably the winner. I think I even like it better than my hybrid. And so I might go through another video for you guys to talk about that. When is a long iron better than a hybrid or is a wood better? There's a lot of really interesting information and I think you guys would really love that. So I think that's a video I'm going to do in the future is when should you go with a long iron compared to a hybrid or a wood or what is best for you and we can look at all the numbers because it is pretty fascinating. And then next up we have the same shaft as I have in my seven wood and this is my five wood. It is the Callaway Epic. And um, again, really love this one. So I only had before in my bag, I, would ha I had two hybrids and I had a three wood, but I loved my three wood so much that I felt like I wanted to get a five wood. And then I fell in love with my five wood and then I was like, I want to get a seven wood. So before you know it, my whole bag is just going to be woods. <laughs> and then we have the Epic three wood, um, same shaft, same grip. So everything is pretty consistent across the board when it comes to my woods. And then we get into my driver. So the driver is interesting. If you watched my last um, driver video at Club Champion, I loved the TSI 3 Kylish driver. So I've been gaming this one to see if I like this one better than the TaylorMade Self driver, which I loved. I was playing my TaylorMade M4 for the longest time. It was my gamer. I loved it. I was trying everything. Nothing was nothing was better than it. And then I switched over to a ping for a little bit. Honestly, didn't really love it. I just felt like I needed a change, but I did not love the ping. So the TaylorMade Stealth came along and gained some yardage. It was more consistent. I loved it. And I didn't think anything was going to be better. And then I did that video and you could see I was shocked and I think it might be a little bit better. Just a little, just a little bit better. So this is the, the club that I'm gaming right now. It's beautiful. It's a very like traditional head. I talked about this all in the last club champion video. So you guys should go check that out. And of course we have the grip master grip on <laughs> my driver. So that oh, almost forgot my putter. Let's move into my putter next. Lastly, we have my putter and I work with swag. I love their head covers and we're going to talk about that next, but I also play their putter and what they do is one of one putters. And so I have this bad boy, it's matte black, really cool, neon hot pink on it. I picked out the head, which is the Savage 2, and then also the neck as well. And I think I'm actually going to get a new one from them because I really want a sound slot. So the sound slot is when you just put like a little um, slit right here and it just has this really nice like ting sound um, when you putt. And I also picked like the, the face. And so this is a complete like one of one putter um, that only I have, which is really cool. But I do love this, but I, I'm obsessed with the sound slot. And so I think the next putter that I get from Swag will definitely have the sound slot. But I love the head. It's a little bit of a mix between a mallet and a blade. And I've played both uh, throughout my career. And I tend to gravitate towards just a little bit of a bigger head. But I hate those like monstrosities of putters. And you just you feel like you're playing with a spaceship. And so this for, for me is a good compromise where you have like the sleek top line, but it just has a little bit of a bigger body on it compared to a true blade. And while we're on the topic of swag, all of these head covers, so this really awesome putter cover, my wood covers, they are all swag as well, except for my Nico head cover. This is a, I got it from, well, my parents, they got this for me as a birthday gift. And this thing is so realistic. 
to the point where it's almost too realistic where I was walking in New York and I was carrying my bag and some homeless person only be almost beat me up because they thought that I like deheaded a doggy and put it on my bag and they were like freaking out and anytime when I travel and I have like the Nico head cover sitting up people are like is that a real dog is that a real dog it's honestly like people are obsessed with this thing and they think it's real which is weird but it does look very real. Sometimes I'll like look back if I'm driving and I see this like looking at me and we're like, like making eye contact. I'm like, okay, <laughs> is it moving? It's like night of museum when everything comes alive. I'm like, does this thing like bark when I'm not looking? But I do love it and it reminds me of Nico whenever I'm playing terribly and it makes me smile. So I think I'm gonna get a new one because it is ripped um unfortunately uh but i do love this and you can get it at Kali creations if you if you want your dog on your back <laughs> next up we're going to talk about all the accessories so these are my alignment sticks and i got these at san diego state my coach leslie spaulding she gave everyone on the team alignment sticks as like a little tournament gift when we were going to conference and i've just forever had them in my bag I highly recommend you guys getting alignment sticks and so anytime that you practice and you're working on something you um, put the alignment sticks down and that way you don't have to keep lining up every single time because the biggest thing that people seem to forget especially when they're practicing is that you need to have good alignment because most of us are really athletic and our body is going to figure out a way to get the ball back online. And so if the flag is here, you're lined up here, you're going to start pulling it and you're going to get in a bad habit of pulling it. Or if you tend to line up more open, you're going to get used to slicing it. And so you're, you're creating bad habits by not having good alignment. And sometimes the easiest way to fix your swing is checking your alignment, it's grip, alignment, ball position. Those are the big three. And usually those get a little out of whack when you're hitting it off. And so always go back to basics, but alignment is huge. And so if you're practicing on anything, um, always line your sticks up. You can get them anywhere. I know there's places like for specialty alignment sticks, like the ones I have. You can also go to Home Depot and just get some sticks. Really anything works. Um, next is my golf towel. Uh, Devont does all of my towels and um, we the towels that we do together um, with me on them are all Devont towels as well and so um, th it's really fun working with them because they have really cool patterns and designs and they're having new towel drops all the time but it's all special because we get to be very collaborative and we get to create these very special towels that you guys uh, love. The Master's Towel, um, the Augusta Beauty one that we did. We've done so many together, the holiday towels, and they're so much fun. And the Happy Gilmore Towel, which I think is, I'm filming this video before it launches, so I think it's going to be a crowd favorite, but by the time this video goes up, the towels will be out there. So I'll link them down below um, so you can go get one yourself. Next up, I have my shot scope. And so this is my range finder. And this one's really cool because um, you can get your yardages. It's a normal range finder, but they also have um, this little device, which tracks all of your data and your analytics. I've talked about this endlessly and you can just connect it. And so when you're playing, instead of wearing a watch or having clipped on you, you can just clip it onto your shot scope range finder and uh, it tracks everything for you. So if you are really interested in improving and getting better, this bad boy is for you. Plus it's like really lightweight, it fits nicely in your hand and it's easy to get the yardages. I know with previous devices, it was so hard for me to catch the flag on some of them, but this one, I never really have any problems. There are so many times where my mom would caddy for me and she would, and it's very easy to clip on, um, she would be caddying and she would like get the back of like trees or mounds instead of the pin. And there were so many times like in pro events, I'd be flying greens and I'd be like looking at her and she's like, whoopsies, <laughs> my bad. But that would not happen with a shot scope range finder. So I have my tees in this pocket. I used to have these really fun uh, tees 
And now I just have kind of boring ones because I got through all of them, but they had like watermelons on them and they were like pink and blue and really, really cool. They're called twig teas. Um, so go check them out. But they have like the fun, most fun designs, which makes me happy. I think sometimes when I'm playing golf and I'm not playing well, little things like having like the Nico head cover or sick head covers or like cool tees just makes me smile and kind of gets me back into it when I'm just having a bad round of golf. I play um, tailor-made golf balls. I kind of switched, played the TP5s. I kind of switched around um, between golf balls. Honestly, I'll kind of play anything. Um, these, I just have them in my golf bag right now. I literally have played almost every single golf ball. And there's days when I'm hitting it really well and I'm like, yeah, I noticed a difference. And there's days where I, I, I really don't notice that much of a difference. Um, but I do like the tailor-made golf balls. So next up, I have so many gloves and I have gloves almost to match like every single outfit, which I think is fun. Uh, they're the G4 gloves. And so I have like green, pink, some blue, black, um, orange. They're just kind of scattered throughout my bag. So those are all in the side pocket. Uh, let me see. And then I just have like random little markers and um, like things to mark my golf ball in my bag. I would always, fun fact, I wasn't super superstitious when it came to golf. Most golfers are very superstitious. There were just two things that I would do all the time. I had to mark my ball with a quarter, always had to be a quarter, and I would mark it heads up. And then <laughs> if I had a really good round, I would eat the same breakfast that I ate for the first round every single day. So if I shot like a really good score, I would have to eat that same breakfast every day for the rest of the tournament. Um, those are the two things that I always did, had to do. Oh, and I always have to have 12 golf balls in my bag. I can't have like any more, any less, always has to be 12. I had this like irrational fear of running out of golf balls when I was on the golf course. And um, so I always had 12 golf balls. And lastly, we are going to talk about the actual bag. It is a bag boy bag, and I have been working with them for a while to create this bag and to make it something that's really, really special. So be on the lookout for this bag. Um, this is still one of the prototypes. We're making it even cooler and better, but it is awesome, and I can't wait to show you. I'll give you a little sneak peek now, but when it drops, I'll go through all of the features because it is honestly the coolest bag out there. So this is the Bag Boy bag. Um, I am in love with this bag. I think it's so cool. It's very handy. It's light, and there's a ton of really cool, interesting features about this bag that I can't quite talk about yet, but be on the lookout because you are going to be in love with this bag and there's some really really cool surprises um that goes along with it so bag boy is doing some really cool stuff and i can't wait for you guys to uh see more about this bag so that is all for today and i hope you guys enjoyed my update what's in the bag and all of my accessories and uh everything that's in there there's a uh, I think I have a pretty cool bag and I love everything that's in it, all the accessories, everything about it. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a comment, um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next Thursday.